Swain Falkbeard was king of Denmark, England, and parts of Norway. His name appears as Swagen in the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle. He was the son of King Harald Bluetooth of Denmark, and the father of Cnut the Great. In the mid-980s, Swain revolted against his father and seized the throne. Harald was driven into exile and died shortly afterwards in November of 986 or 987. In 1000, with the allegiance of Trondajal, Eric of Lade, Swain ruled most of Norway. In 1013, shortly before his death, he became the first Danish king of England after a long effort. Biography Family and early life Many details about Swain's life are contested. Scholars disagree about the various, too often contradictory, accounts of his life given in sources from this era of history, such as the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle, Adam of Bremen's Deeds of the Bishops of Hamburg, and the Heimskringler, a 13th-century work by Icelandic author Snorri Sturluson. Conflicting accounts of Swain's later life also appear in the Encomium Emma Regina, an 11th-century Latin encomium in honor of his son King Cnut's Queen Emma of Normandy, along with Chronicon ex Chronosis by Florence of Worcester, another 11th-century author. The Dictionary of National Biography states that his mother's name is unknown, but the Danish Encyclopedia Denstor Dansk identifies her as Tove from the Western Wendland. Denstor Dansk identifies Swain's wife as Gunhild, widow of Eric, King of Sweden, but the Dictionary of National Biography, while agreeing that she was Eric's widow, describes her as an unnamed sister of Bolslav, ruler of Poland. Many negative accounts build on Adam of Bremen's writings. Adam is said to have watched Swain and Scandinavia in general with an unsympathetic and intolerant eye. According to some scholars, Adam accused Forkbeard of being a rebellious pagan who persecuted Christians, betrayed his father and expelled German bishops from Scania and Zealand. According to Adam, Swain was sent into exile by his father's German friends and deposed in favor of King Eric the Victorious of Sweden, whom Adam wrote ruled Denmark until his death in 994 or 995. Historians generally have found problems with Adam's claims, such as that Swain was driven into exile in Scotland for a period as long as 14 years. As many scholars point out, he built churches in Denmark throughout this period, such as London Roskilde, while he led Danish raids against England. Invasions of England The Chronicle of John of Wallingford records Swain's involvement in raids against England during 1002 to 1005, 1006 to 1007, and 1009 to 1012 to revenge the saint. Rice's Day Massacre of England's Danish inhabitants in November 1002. Swain was believed to have had a personal interest in the atrocities, with his sister Gunhilda and her husband possibly amongst the victims. Swain campaigned in Wessex and East Anglia in 1003 to 1004, but a famine forced him to return to Denmark in 1005. Further raids took place in 1006 to 1007, and in 1009 to 1012 Thorkel the Tall led a Viking invasion into England. Simon Keynes regards it as uncertain whether Swain supported these invasions, but, whatever the case, he was quick to exploit the disruption caused by the activities of Thorkel's army. Some scholars have argued that Swain's participation may have been prompted by his state of impoverishment after having been forced to pay a hefty ransom. He needed revenue from the raids. He acquired massive sums of Danegeld through the raids. In 1013, he is reported to have personally led his forces in a full-scale invasion of England. The contemporary Peterborough Chronicle, one of the Anglo-Saxon chronicles, states, before the month of August came King Swain with his fleet to Sandwich. He went very quickly about East Anglia into the Humber's mouth and so upward along the Trent till he came to Gainsborough. Erluch Tidham all Northumbria quickly bowed to him, as did all the people of the Kingdom of Lindsay, then the people of the five boroughs. 
he was given hostages from each shire. When he understood that all the people had submitted to him, he bade that his force should be provisioned and horsed. He went south with the main part of the invasion force while some of the invasion force as well as the hostages, were with his son C.N.U.T. After he came over Watling Street, they went to Oxford, and the town dwellers soon bowed to him, and gave hostages. From there they went to Winchester, and the people did the same, then eastward to London. But the Londoners put up a strong resistance, because King Ethelred and Thorkel the Tall, a Viking leader who had defected to Ethelred personally held their ground against him in London itself. Swain then went west to Bath, where the Western Thanes submitted to him and gave hostages. The Londoners then followed suit, fearing Swain's revenge if they resisted any longer. King Ethelred sent his sons Edward and Alfred to Normandy, and himself retreated to the Isle of Wight, and then followed them into exile. On Christmas Day 1013 Swain was declared King of England. Based in Gainsborough, Lincolnshire, Swain began to organise his vast new kingdom, but he died there on 3 February 1014, having ruled England for only five weeks. His embalmed body was returned to Denmark for burial in the church he had built himself. Swain's elder son, Harold II, succeeded him as King of Denmark, but the Danish fleet in England proclaimed his younger son Cnut King. In England, the councillors had sent for Ethelred, who upon his return from exile in Normandy in the spring of 1014 managed to drive Cnut out of England. But Cnut returned and became King of England in 1016, eventually also ruling Denmark, Norway, parts of Sweden, Pomerania, and Schleswig. Swain's son Cnut and Cnut's own sons Harold Harefoot and Harthacnut ruled England for 26 years. After Harthacnut's death, the English throne reverted to the House of Wessex in the person of King Edward the Confessor. Swain's descendants through his daughter Estide continue to reign in Denmark to this day. One of his descendants, Margaret of Denmark, married James III of Scotland in 1469, introducing Swain's bloodline into the Scottish royal house. After James VI of Scotland inherited the English throne in 1603, Swain's descendants became monarchs of England again. The church and currency on the northern edges of the relatively recent Holy Roman Empire. The Latin inscription on the coins read, Zven Rex Addener, which translates as, Sven, King of the Danes. Swain's father, Harold Bluetooth, was the first of the Scandinavian kings to accept Christianity officially, in the early or mid-960s. According to Adam of Bremen, an 11th century historian, Harold's son Swain was baptized Otto, in tribute to the German king Otto I, who was the first Holy Roman Emperor. Faultbeard is never known to have officially made use of this Christian name. Religion. Adam of Bremen's writings about Swain and his father may have been influenced by Adam's desire to emphasize Swain's father Harold as a candidate for sainthood. He claimed that Swain, who was baptized along with his father, was a heathen. This may have been true, as much of Scandinavia was pagan at the time, but there are no data to corroborate the assertion. German and French records support that Harold Bluetooth was baptized. According to Adam, Swain was punished by God for leading the uprising which led to King Harold's death, and had to spend 14 years abroad, perhaps a biblical reference from an ecclesiastical writer, as it refers to the symbolic number 7. Adam purports that Swain was shunned by all those with whom he sought refuge, but was finally allowed to live for a while in Scotland. Adam's intention appeared to be to show that Swain belonged with heathens and was not fit to rule a Christian country. According to Adam, Swain only achieved success as a ruler after accepting Christianity. Swain was tolerant of paganism while favouring Christianity, at least politically. By allowing English ecclesiastical influence in his kingdom, he was spurning the Hamburg Bremen Archbishop. 
Since German bishops were an integral part of the secular state, Swain's preference for the English church may have been a political move. He sought to pre-EMPT any threat against his independence posed by the German kings. Contrary to Adam's writings, Swain did not appear to have re-established paganism. There is no evidence of reversion to pagan burial practices during Swain's reign. Whether King Swain was a heathen or not, he enlisted priests and bishops from England rather than from Hamburg. This may have been another reason for Adam of Bremen's apparent hostility in his accounts. Numerous converted priests of a Danish origin from the Dane law lived in England, while Swain had few connections to Germany or its priests. Swain must have known that once the Archbishop of Hamburg Bremen gained influence in Denmark, the German Emperor Otto II would not be far behind. His Slavic neighbours to the southeast had been all but annexed by Germany once Otto's father Otto I divided their lands into bishoprics and put them under the curve of the Holy Roman Emperor. Swain may have envisaged the same happening to his own territory. Issue. Swain had eight children with Sigrid the Haughty and Gunhild of Wenden, Harold, Cnut, Gytha, Gunhild, Santlor, Thyra, Estide, Daughter, Popular Culture, King Swain Forkbeard is a character in the historical novels The Long Ships by Franz Gunnar Bengtsson and A Hollow Crown by Helen Hollick. Swain Faultbeard is a primary antagonist in the manga Vinland Saga by Makoto Yukimura. King Swain Faultbeard is played by Ernest Graves in the 1970 film The Ceremony of Innocence.